Sabrina Kay is, of course, the chair of the After School All Stars here in Los Angeles. And she has started several companies, including higher education institutions. And she's also a generous philanthropist, and very, very generous, when I tell you. And she founded her own charitable organization. And uh, Dr. Kay is dedicated to giving the youth of Los Angeles hope for a better life. So let's give her a big, big hand. She's going to come out here and is going to get a big award after that for the recognition for the great work that she's doing. All right. Well, now it's time for the awards to be given and to present the Educate Award to the first honoree. It is my pleasure to welcome to the stage Ambassador, Mr. Frank Baxter. What can I say about um, Sabrina? I was, she's a, a very interesting combination of having really total humility, never bragging, but at the same time having total confidence. It's not, and it's not self-confidence, it's, it's, a, it's a spiritual sublime thing that she, that she will just go ahead and know it's, that it's going to happen. And it is something extremely spiritual and it's, it's a unique quality that, that I've observed and tried to emulate without too much success. Another thing, another characteristic of hers is that she, is an ultimate multitasker and the ultimate focus person. I, I don't know how she can do it. She can just go from, from subject to subject to subject and always be on point. Um, she has, uh, she, she's a do it person. She's absolutely a person that exceeds your expectations every, every time. When I had the honor of being uh, made ambassador to Uruguay, I was, really didn't want to give up the after school all stars. I said, "What could I do?" And I know Sabrina was doing a zillion different things. She was getting three degrees and and uh, who, who knows what else. And uh, I asked her if she would do it. I was embarrassed to ask her, and she just said yes. And she's not the kind of person that says, "Yeah, well, I'll do it for you." You know, sort of make it a transaction. She just did it. Uh, these uh, and recently, she's using all the skills that she's put together to advance the, the science of learning, to take advantage of 21st century to, tools because our schools right now are, are sort of an 18th century, yeah, 18th century model of using the, the, using the latest uh, technology to leverage the human talent. And the most important thing about it, my, my wife Kathy and I were talking about her on the car as we, as we were uh, coming here and uh, accepting the traffic and uh, we said the really the great thing about Sabrina, with all of her talents, with all of her drive, is her kindness. She doesn't forget dates. Uh, she just rem we've never had an experience where we weren't didn't feel better after meeting her, and that is a quality that she shares with all of us. She's the ultimate Angelino. She's an immigrant. Uh, she's a student, she works hard, and she gives a lot, and she gives, it, she gives it because she knows that's the thing to do. So I'm very happy to bestow this honor on her and this award on Sabrina. Where is she? Well, thank you so much for the generous comment, um, Frank. He is one of the greatest men I know. I'm so proud to know you and call you a friend, Frank. He just came back, I, I think you heard, from Kilimanjaro last night. Um, he, he had a six-day excursion, and look at him. He is absolutely smashing. So we all want to grow up to be Frank Baxter, you know, climbing my, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro and change the world and also look like him uh, when we grow up. So uh, thank you very much. And, and most importantly, we want to thank Governor Schwarzenegger for his vision. Without his vision, the organization would not even have established. And Governor really thought about what education means to our children. The greatest gift that we can give to our children is really the education. I want to recognize our board, who every single person who is here has contributed so much and also the staff, as well as Renee Kochi and her capable team who has done just so much for this program. So thank you so much. I want to end with a small story. Um, I have a very dear friend who's actually here tonight. 
Um, he was involved with the after school program in Washington, D.C. And he told me a story that I would never forget. He um, was teaching the children, and he asked the kids what they would be when they grow up. And the children said, oh, we don't think about that because we're not going to grow up. Kind of sounds like a Toys R Us commercial, so he scolded them and said, have aspirations and dreams because when you grow up, you can be anything you want to be. You can be the president of the United States, you can be you know, uh, doctors, lawyers, you can be anything that you want to be. But those children weren't kidding. When they get to middle school, these children in, in inner cities can be recruited in the, in the gangs, deal drugs, and get killed, and have never have an opportunity to grow up. This is a country that immigrants become governors and entrepreneurs. This is a country that gives so much opportunity to almost anybody. There's no other country like this in this entire world. It is absolutely ludicrous to think that our children in our inner cities don't have that opportunity to grow up. My friend Bill Clohan and his wife Daxin adopted two beautiful children and they raised them to, as their sons and they're very, very successful as an adult. Unfortunately, not all of our children have that opportunity. Tonight, with your generosity and your thoughtfulness, you have adopted 80,000 children in nine states and 450 schools. So thank you for your extreme generosity. I, I accept this award with extreme humbleness with two very deserving award recipient, recipients. First recipient, Andy Barth and Avery, who have made such a commitment to, to this program and their generosity started so many different programs. Andy actually gave money to start the wrestling program, but we, so, we don't have the wrestling program yet, but we have fashion, we have music, sports, uh, nutrition, anything you can think of as well as homework program that students have to go and do their homework before they start these fun programs. And uh, these students grow up and they become the presidents and they become uh, doctors and firemen and the lawyers. So your generosity and your, um, your support really made this program work. I'm almost embarrassed to take this award home because I don't know what I have contributed, um, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway because I want to give it to my daughter who has been a fuel to my life and also um, really the love of my life and, um, and really a shining star in my heart. So thank you, Lena, for buying your own table this time. <laughs>